Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Purple Slushy, and today we're going to be talking about the Land of the Morning Light bosses. This zone is so freaking dope. I love it. And in this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know when you first start doing the boss blitz. And what we're going to do is we're going to go and talk about the things that you need to do in order. And then we're going to maximize everything that you can get buff wise and stat wise from doing the bosses. So with that being said, if you guys enjoy my content, I'm going to be bringing you guys so much more Land of the Morning Light content as well as streaming on Twitch. So if you want to catch me live doing bosses, things like that, in the description down below, you'll find a link to my channel, twitch.tv slash slushy. Now let's get into it. The first thing that you need to do when doing the Land of the Morning Light is finish the quest line because you will not have access to all the bosses until you actually finish the actual quest line. Let me go ahead and add this black shrine up here, save it. Now, every time you finish one of the quest lines, you will unlock another one of these bosses. Now, each boss that you unlock will give you access to it, but you also get access to your aura. Now, aura are different orbs, and these are going to increase your stats. You get more auras by completing the quest line. Also, at the end of the quest line, you will get Black Spirit main quests. So if you go in here, you go to your main quest, you will get a Calamity level five quest as well as a Calamity level three quest. Now, whenever you first start doing the bosses after you finish the whole quest line, you will have access to your first three auras. So if I refresh this, you will have access to, actually, hold on one second. You will have access to three of these. So you'll start with 50 AP and 100 DP. So many people do not know that they have auras that they need to add when they first start. So make sure that you add your first three and then also add whatever additional stats you want, either AP or DP. Whenever you finish Calamity Level 3 quest, you will get another orb. And when you finish Calamity Level 5 quest, you will get your last orb. So at the end, you should have 300 AP, 300 DP. With my play style, I stack everything into AP. Whoops. I stack everything into AP. Now that is just my class, what I do. One sec. For my class for Wusa, this is what I do. I stack into AP and I don't stack any DP. I focus a DP like evasion type crystal setup and then everything else is full AP. We will get into that a little bit later as well. With that being said, what boss should you do first? Also, what types of rewards can you get? So if you do not know, there is an adventure log for the different bosses. If we go back to the old menu and click on adventure log, there is a boss storybook. So at the end of books one through five, you get a specific stat bonus. So at the end of book five, you get plus 12, uh, plus 12 HP. The end of book three, I believe that you are going to receive, and if I can see this here, max dam. Books four and two will give you accuracy, and then book one at the end is going to give you weight. Now, with that being said, all that you need to do to get the reward on the last page is complete a Calamity level five boss one time and you can get the reward from that boss on that page. And then once you complete Clemming level five, you unlock the last page and get that reward. That is the same with every book. So if I do a Calamity level four boss, I will have access to the actual bonus accuracy that is at the end of the book. So you don't need to complete all the bosses for book four to get the last page. You just need to do one. So the, the way that most people are doing it is they will go into a boss rush. So if I go back to the boss rush, um, new menu, here we go. You have your different levels for your calamity. Now, I did not do it how most people are doing it because I just wanted to try to see if I could clear the highest level of Apex because no other Wusa had attempted it yet and I was actually able to get the first clear. If you guys wanna see that, that will be my next video where it will be the first Apex level uh, Clemmy level seven clear, 
But with that being said, what I recommend doing is either Bamboo, Song, or Bari. These are probably the easiest bosses to do with Bamboo being the easiest boss. So if you wanna just knock out all of your adventure logs and get all of those stats first, what I would do is I would do Calamity level three first. That is going to allow you to get the accuracy from the book as well as, or it's either, I think it's stamina or accuracy, one of the two, but you're going to also get the aura unlocked from the Black Spirit quest. So that's going to give you an additional aura. So you will have um, one, two, three, four, five auras once you do three. Once you finish doing three and you have that aura, I would then go and do Calamity level five. That's gonna give you your second aura and that's also gonna give you your HP. Once you have your HP done, I would then do Calamity level four for your accuracy as well as Calamity level two for your accuracy from your adventure logs. And then you have one extra boss or one extra level that you can do from any boss. You can knock out Calamity level one and get that done first, but I don't, You, it's only going to give you weight, plus 10 weight. So if that plus 10 weight is something that's really important to you, then you can do it. If not, don't worry about it. So every week you have five weekly boss blitz counts. What that means is you have five um, successful clears that you can do. Once you do those successful clears, you can't do it any other clears besides those clears for the rest of the week. So what that means is if I do Calamity level five for Bamboo, that's gonna take up one of my accounts. Once I do Calamity level four, that'll take up two of my accounts. And then let's say I do Calamity levels one through five for Bamboo Legion for that week and I use all my accounts. I can't do any Apex, any Bari, any Song, I'm locked into just those five levels for the week. Now you can re repetitively do those levels and try to get a higher score, but you are locked into those for the week. So with that being said, once you do Calamity level uh, five through two to get all your stats, you can do Calamity level one, or you could do like a different boss and try to do a higher level Calamity just for fun. It's up to you. Now, if you wanna min max and get all your stats first, I would highly recommend doing Calamity levels five through two first, and you can also do Calamity level one to get that adventure log done as well. So with that being said, the other stuff that you need to know about the boss blitz is every Sunday it's going to reset and that's how you're gonna get your loot. So you will get your loot every Sunday. Additionally, you will have loot for first time clears of different Calamity level bosses from your actual adventure log and make sure that you are claiming those whenever you finish each Calamity level of a specific boss, it will give you the reward and you can open up a bundle that has the potential of giving you really good crystals. I know some of my friends have gotten some of the best crystals already. I haven't gotten lucky getting any crystals, but I'm still attempting the bosses and trying to do um, the bosses. And hopefully on Sunday, I can get better rewards when I get the actual full bundles. The other thing that's really important to know about the different bosses is the Ninetales boss has a certain mechanic that you actually need to use these things that are called gourds. Now, what I did is I actually did the quest line on my Sork and I was given the gourd bottle of purification, the gourd bottle of ensnarement, and also the gourd bottle of insight. Now with these gourds, you need these for that Ninetales boss for the mechanics or you cannot beat her. These gourds, you cannot actually put in your bank. You can't put them on another character. They are grayed out once you put them in your bank and you can't take them out and you can't use them on other characters. So if you want to do the Ninetales boss, make sure you do the quest line on that character. But let's say you didn't do it um, on the character that you wanted to do it on. And like me, you didn't do it on your Wusa. What you can do actually is you can go into your quests Go to your main quests and from here, scroll down and you're gonna look for the Land of the Morning Lights Gummy Ho, which is the Ninetales boss. And you can do these 32 quests and they will give you the gourds. And that way you can do the um, Ninetales boss on another character that you did not complete the original quest line for. That's just something that's important that a lot of people don't know that, um, that you should do. Um, if you want to do the Ninetales boss, because if you attempt the Ninetales boss without those gourds, it's actually impossible. And you'll be like, what the heck is wrong? And it's because you do not have those gourds. 
With that being said, that's basically everything that you need to know when starting the actual boss splits for your character in the Land of the Morning Light. Remember, finishing the quest line will give you that one AP as well as access to your auras um, and then give you access to the quests for Calamity Level 3 and Calamity Level 5 for additional auras, which are extremely important for conquering these bosses. So as far as my crystal setups, when I actually got the clear, I got it going full AP. Now, sometimes I rock a more defensive setup, which is going to be like special evasion. I'm gonna rock Hooms, Vipers, um, Akrods, Corrupted Crystals, two Vipers, um, one Rebellious, one Black Spirit, because my other Rebellious broke, and then um, Harfias. But for the actual level seven clear, I ended up just going full AP um, because I wanted to just get it done as fast as possible because the apex boss as you will see in the video does insane damage so for this what i did is two valors which is going to be uh plus two critical hit to give me the max critical hit on my character plus ap two akrods for the accuracy special uh the accuracy extra damage to monsters and the attack casting speed two histrias for my wusa because that 300 stam is really really important to move around a lot two corruptage Two Corrupteds, four uh, Crimson Flames for the extra AP, two Vipers, and that is everything that you need. And then two Rebellious if you have it, or one Rebellious, one Black Spirit Crystal, because that's what I have right now. And that is what I use to actually clear. Now, depending on your character and depending on your class, you might want to change up your Crystal setups. I also used uh, Perfume of Courage frenzy and simple cron meal i found that to be the best for damage as well as the best for defense i did try exquisite with deep sea elixirs and frenzies as well i tried uh frenzies and calx you just when you're doing the higher calamity levels you need as much damage as possible because you want to burn the boss as fast as possible um uh, without messing up basically the higher calamity levels like six seven especially seven if you mess up once you're dead so if you're playing to your maximum potential of not messing up you want as much damage as possible to get through the boss as fast as possible so with that I use Simple Cron Meal as well as Perfume and Frenzy. I'm rocking extra AP against monster artifacts with Death Blow. This is a really, really expensive setup. I found it to be the best setup for me. Um, if you do not have access to this, you can use um, a crit um, a crit setup um, or uh, other uh, setups that you might find useful. I'm also using Kudum, which is gonna give me um, all that monster damage as well as the uh, special attack um, damage and then I have a pen black star or pen god eye and I am in succession so I have the 301 bracket and it's actually able um, to help me out a lot you do only get 10% of your total gear when doing these bosses but depending on what your gear is in the game you're getting 10% of it so it is going to help um, with that being said, um, things like pure black stones, they will not work in the boss rush, so don't try wasting them. Um, make sure you have your Vel's Heart turned on and make sure you have your Frenzy or Perfume turned on before you go into the boss. Now you can run Elixir rotation, just note, anytime you die in a boss rush, you're going to have your Frenzy and your Perfume or your Elixirs destroyed. So I attempted this boss like probably 50 times last night and I spent over a billion perfumes just trying to attempt it and I wasn't able to beat it. And then this morning I woke up and I did two attempts. The first attempt, it kind of bugged out and I died. The second attempt, I did it perfectly and I was really happy when I finished it. So it is expensive if you're doing the bosses at a higher calamity level. So just note that if you do um, want to attempt these bosses, it's going to be very expensive um, learning the mechanics. So maybe don't try using the Frenzy and Perfume at first. See how far you can get into it. Once you learn the mechanics, then go ahead and pop um, these buffs for that extra damage. Just a tip in order um, for you to just try to maximize um, your playtime and not having to spend a ton of money um, in doing um, the bosses. With that being said, there are a lot of crystals that are out that you can get. 
that will make your life a lot easier doing these bosses. Now, I have pre-orders on basically all the crystals so far. Um, none of them are being sold yet. I don't even think many people even have any of these crystals yet. But eventually, um, these crystals will be sitting on the market. I know in KR, these crystals are sitting on the market. So just be patient. Um, for these crystals, but these will help you a lot during the boss rush. Your crystals will cannot get destroyed when doing the bosses. So don't worry about having the best crystals and thinking that they're gonna get destroyed. They will not get destroyed when doing the bosses. Um, so make sure that you are rocking the best crystals that you can when attempting the boss blitz. But that's about everything that I have for you guys for the video for today. I hope that I was able to help you out. Until next time, it's been your boy, Purple Scotia. All right, until next time, see you later. Peace.